Hi, John. Sawash here, and today I want to give you a brief overview to Google Groups. The Groups uh, tool is probably one of the most misunderstood and misused applications in the uh, Google Apps suite. So I want to just try to clarify things and explain um, how and why you would use Google Groups. In a nutshell, Google Groups essentially uh, serves as a list serve, allowing you to send information to a large group of people. Using Google Groups is fairly simple because it, it looks and acts a lot like email. You can compose rich text messages, feels very much like you're writing an email. The difference is people can um, specify how they want to receive those messages. Either they will go to the listserv to view them or they can receive them in their inbox um, immediately or in a digest or once a day. Um, and we'll go over all those um, various settings and I'll show you where you can access those uh, in a later podcast. But for now I just want to give you a brief overview uh, to Google Groups and we'll start by getting there. Uh, depending on how you're accessing Google Groups uh, you can get there different ways. I'd say the easiest is probably just to search for it. I'm just going to do a Google search for Google Groups and uh, select the first result there. Um, in order to use Google Groups, you will need an email account. It does not necessarily need to be a Gmail account. Um, you can use uh, any email address and associate it with a Google Group. Um, this is what it'll look like when you browse when you uh, first get there. There's basically two options: either look at My Groups or browse all available groups. Uh, if you've never been to Google Groups before, uh, if, when you click on My Groups, there won't be anything there because you aren't a, a member of um, any Google Groups yet. I am, so I'll just show you what that looks like. Here listed are all the various groups that I've been a part of. Some of these are very old and are lo no longer active, whereas others are extremely active. I'll open up the first one just for fun, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Um, this is... Um, a Google Docs user group and you can see uh, various conversations and topics here. I'm going to click on the first one and it looks very much like a discussion board or an email thread as you might find in your uh, Gmail inbox. So the, the post thread is how to use Google Docs and you can see various responses from people all the way back from uh, 2008. When I open that up, you can see their response, collapse that, and browse through all of those that are uh, posted. You can star responses, um, page through them, and reply um, as you wish. On the left side of the screen, you see some other options, and these are all dif just different ways to access your various groups. Clicking on My Groups takes you back to the um, uh, listing of your groups you're a member of. You can also have favorite groups which are starred and then um, these options on the left side um, will just filter your groups based on which one has the most recent posts, most activity, um, most viewed, etc. If you are using Google Groups for an apps um, account, either for your school or your business, it's likely that you'll have a quick link to groups up in this uh, toolbar at the top of the screen. I'm using just a Gmail account and so it's not there, but if you do have a, an apps account, um, it's likely to be up top. Um, if you're accessing groups within your business or school, it's likely limited to um, groups within your organization. Um, which is a helpful thing that uh, we'll talk about in a future um, episode. That's a brief overview to Google Groups. Um, stay tuned for more uh, information on how you post, access, uh, and um, set up some custom uh, settings for Google Groups.